It was horrible. Two people had to die so that we could be free. I still can't get it out of my mind. Jack pretended to be in pain so the coachman stopped the coach. He killed him with his bare hands. I have no idea how he did it. After that he took us to a place where we drank all night. At least I think so. I have a terrible headache. And I'm stiff. And the worst thing is that I don't have the slightest idea where I am. What is it now? Damn, this isn't funny. Help! Shh! I'm trying to think. Brian, what's up? You can see it, can't you? Jack fooled us. He got us drunk and tied us up. It was hardly a difficult job. But why did he do that? I don't know, but if he comes back, I'll kill him, I promise. Brian, how long have you been away? I'm not sure. I have a terrible headache. Have you figured something out? Yeah. Move your legs slowly and pass me a candlestick. What candlestick? It's right next to your leg, idiot. Just do as I say and we'll get out of here. So move. Damn! What? You screwed up. I can't reach it now. It wasn't my fault. Be quiet, somebody's coming. You bloody bastard. Shut up! You shouldn't have sent the police against me. And you shouldn't have been snooping around at the cemetery. Don't think I don't know about it. You bastard. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna introduce you to somebody. He's called the Night Rider. And he doesn't like squealers, just like I don't either. Stop your rambling and inject them. I want to see what it's going to do to them. Shouldn't I rather kill them? No. As you wish. Adieu, don't be stupid. We can talk about this, just throw the needle away. What have you done to him, you bastard? I'll kill you. Do you hear me? You won't kill anybody. Go to hell! Nice performance, adieu. It was quick, just as I like it. Now, take them someplace far away. To Gallows Hill, for instance. And bury them there. Why so awkward? We can throw them in a canal. No. There are policemen around the canal. They've already found the doctor. As I told you, you'll bury them under the gallows. They don't deserve anything else. And very deep. Understood? for sure. So what'll I do now? Jesus, how shall I calm down? I just want to get out. If fists can't break it, nails will do. Ah, it's gone. But so are my nails. Ah, it hurts like hell.
क्यों पूछ रहे इट्स गेटिंग लूज He must have woken up just like me. He tried to get out but failed. I should be lying there, not hid. If only I was faster. If only I did something back there in the damn theater. I can't leave him here just like that. I'll go and find a priest. I'm sure Brian would wish it so. Adieu smokes too much. He wraps his cigarettes in the theater leaflet. If it's from the abandoned theater, then it might be a clue. Hmm, the leaflet isn't complete. I need to ask one of the locals. I'll never find the theater by myself. One stinking egg. What good luck. I'll, that's the last thing I can do for my friend. I know this place. I'll try to find the priest. Good evening. Perhaps you did not notice, young man, but it is too late. Our doors are closed. Uh, but I need something. It's urgent. Try again tomorrow. A friend of mine died today, and I would like to arrange at least a slightly normal funeral for him. Could you come with me? What? Now, in the middle of the night? Well... It's not far from the time. He's in a pit under the gallows. But it is a pure nonsense. What are you thinking? This is not the way funerals are arranged. And furthermore, the earth under the gallows is not sanctified. Only murderers and suicides lie up there. He wasn't a suicide. He was a decent man who never harmed anybody. He didn't deserve such an indignant end. It is not possible. I am sorry. It is too late. It's never too late for a good deed. I am not a fool. I am not going anywhere with you. Do you understand? I swear I don't want anything else. Just the funeral. As I already said, if you need help, I can arrange it, but not this way. Bring the body. We will complete all the necessary forms, and then we shall see. Can we do something else? Give me something I can put in this coffin. A crucifix or something. I don't want him to end up in a hole just like a dog. This is insane. I am seriously considering calling the police. But that's not necessary. Just forget I was ever here. I'll improve it a bit. Me and Brian used to do this to distract the priest's attention while we were robbing the donation box. Good old days.
Perhaps I did not express myself clearly. Could you leave, please? Just calm down, okay? God, this place stinks like a sewer. When was the last time you changed the holy water? What are you talking about? You can't smell it. The holy water is spoiled. It's almost impossible to breathe in here. It is not possible. What a stench! And I didn't notice it before. I must get rid of it immediately. Just go. I'll keep an eye on the place. If I died, Brian would do anything he could to make sure that I had peace. I'll take this thing and put it in his coffin. It's the least I can do. Goodbye, my friend. I'll miss you like hell. Go away, or I'll release the dog. Emily, you have no dog. Who's there? The poor chap to whom you provided clothes and who then rammed at the pub. Are you still angry? Oh my God, Tim. Wait a second, I'll open the door. What a surprise. I thought I'd never see you again. Hi, Emily. I'm sorry, I couldn't come earlier. You were arrested, I know. What a smart girl you are. Sure I am. So you're not angry anymore? No. I know the girl who's working at the Salted Cheek. I heard you helped her, and I'm very grateful for that. How grateful? You can stay here if you want, but don't expect anything more from me. Ah, uh, you haven't changed at all, Emily. But thanks for letting me stay, at least. You're a fantastic girl. Emily, do you remember my pal? I was supposed to meet him in a pub. Not really. What was his name? Brian. Unfortunately, he's dead. Oh, Tim, I'm really sorry. Me too. Listen, Emily, I want to find his murderer. But all I have is this. Do you happen to know where this theatre is? It's been closed for a couple of years. Don't be a fool, Tim. Leave it up to the police. No, I can't. Will you help me? All right, then. I know where it is. You have to go to the main square. Then head north. It'll lead you to where you need to go. You can't miss it. It's the oldest building in the district. Nobody goes there. Thank you, Emily. For me, as well as for Brian. Just promise me you won't screw up, Tim. I've finished with screw-ups. I promise. Blast it. Somebody got ahead of me. I have to follow him quickly. Where's he gone to? My God, isn't that the bastard who beat me up in the pub? Yeah, it's him. He was surprised from behind. Enjoy the eternal dreams.
Damn. He must have had a hidden boat. I'll go ahead and see how far I can get by foot. For a long time I was guided by the light he probably had fastened on his boat. After it got lost in the distance, I wanted to give up. Yet I went on. Almost mad with fear, I was blindly running about, but I kept going as far as I could. I can't go any further. Damn. I'll go back. This is useless. He has nothing that could be useful. He has something in his hand. Maybe it belonged to the Knight Rider. I spit on you, Adieu. You were a bloody bastard. Pity Brian can't see it. He would laugh. At last, Mr. Moore. Are you surprised to see me? Ah, oh, damn. I'm not going to arrest you, Mr. Moore. I could have done that back there in the church. You aren't careful enough. So, what do you want from me? I've come to settle the dead. I don't owe you anything. Yes, you do. We made a deal, but you betrayed me. You escaped and murdered. You don't belong in jail, Mr. Moore. You'll end up on the gallows. Jack did it. We couldn't do anything. Stop the lies. Are you going to tell me the old man's death was also Jack's work? You killed him just because he woke up while you were robbing his vault. You're nothing but a murderer to me. Wait a minute, this must be a mistake. The old man was alive. I promise. This is going nowhere. We'll leave it for now. What are you going to do? I thought I could simply shoot your kneecaps and leave. Where's your friend? Brian's dead. I was chasing Jack to avenge his death. And you succeeded, as I can see. No, I didn't do that. Still the same song. Jack tricked us. He got us drunk, then he tied us up and then brought some stranger in. He called himself the Knight Rider or something like that. He told Jack to get rid of us, and from that point on I can't remember anything. I woke up in a coffin. Brian wasn't so lucky. I've never heard of any Knight Rider. I don't give a damn, do you understand? I just want to find the bastard and slug it out with him. If you really want to put me back in jail, then you'd be better shooting me dead. Just to make it clear, Mr. Moore, first of all, I'm not a policeman any longer. And another point, we probably have a common enemy. I wouldn't do such a thing under normal circumstances, and yes, I would kill you. But things have changed. If you want to find that person, I might help you. Think about it. Now get out. The police officers will be here shortly. I don't trust you. They're waiting for me outside. There are only the two of us here. Now go. We'll meet in the church, and we can discuss the rest later. You're crazy. Yes, I am. I've come here to kill you, but I am offering you an alliance instead. I must have gone mad. 